Hi everyone! Tom was here, back at it with another unboxing video, and Happy New Year to you and yours. I finally have received something that was actually supposed to arrive to me um, in mid to late December, pre-Christmas. This is the BAM Jam Packed Triple Auto Box. Uh, there's a limited run of these. I believe it was a limited run of 150, and then the next day they put out an additional 50. So a limited run of 200, I guess you could say. And I've seen a few uh, because this was, you know, kind of USPSing its way across the country. In fact, it didn't have any updates prior to it arriving today from Texas. Uh, quite a bit of stuff in here. You're guaranteed one signed Funko Pop. Uh, in some items from previous BAM boxes, and all all versions of BAM boxes. The horror, the um, geek box, the gamer box. I think everything but the anime, because anime is too new, and that's fine. I'm not a big anime fan anyway. Um, but a lot of different stuff in here. So without further ado, let's crack this open and see what it's all about. Now, I am flying solo today because the lore... Of the PlayStation 5 is always too much. And because my son's, you know, he likes the BAM boxes, but sometimes, you know, he gets weirded out like a lot of the stuff he's not familiar with is in there. Um, so, I, you know, I, I give him the choice. I give him the choice to be in them or not. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Okay. All right. So we got BAM paper, kind of paper. Okay. All right, first item is, that's cool. Um, I don't know, you know, that's the thing. I only joined BAM in, um, uh, I think, July of this year uh, and only really did the geek boxes. I've seen a horror box and I've seen definitely your unboxings of them. Um, so I don't know where some of these items are from, but that's pretty cool. Uh, Harley Quinn comic there. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what box they came in. It's not signed or anything. Um, but yeah, we have, this is my second one of these, so this one will be up for, um, sale or trade. This is a lawyer up from Better Call Saul. I do love this one. I do like this prop. Um, and the good news is because it's in a bigger box, it can actually fit without being bent. So maybe the original one I got will be up because that definitely was bent. Um, okay. There is... Now, I've seen other people open this and get this weird stuff, like the uh, the Scalp Squid Head Massager. Um, clearly a quality product from Archie McPhee. Uh, <laughs> look, they do load these things up, so occasionally you are going to get some dud items. Like, for example, Sunny the Happy Blobfish. What am I supposed to do with this thing? I don't even know what this is. Like, what is this for? A vo Avoid the following. All porous surfaces, mom's cows, the seat of dad's new car, walls you're fond of, your sister's new dress. I don't, I don't even know what you do with it. What do you do with this thing? What is the purpose of this thing? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. You got a... See, you know, my son wasn't down here for this, but I guarantee you he steals this bag. This is like a, a Deadpool Punisher, um, like a tote bag here. A Deadpool Punisher, like a, like a hybrid, uh, you know, um, wow, I, you know, I sell these things and I can't even, I'm blanking on what the name of these for. Like a cinch sack, um, wow. Oh boy, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is from the uh, BAM Big Box uh, from Back to the Future. My son actually has one of these from Universal. Um, it's a little bit different, um, but still pretty cool because um, we didn't get, you know, generally uh, we, don't, we don't get the, I have a giant head if you don't, mean, but we don't usually get the bigger boxes just because I kind of stay on like the lower price point for stuff. Like occasionally I'll dabble beyond that. But the idea is, you know, it's just like lower price point stuff and, you know, just... I don't like to spend a ton of money, and like I said, I spend this, tend to spend money I use from previous items for the newer boxes, you know, kind of like pay for a box and then just keep selling stuff to get new boxes versus items I keep, but this is pretty cool. Um, this is not bad. Uh, definitely an item that 
Once again, I think he will probably steal from me. Oh, Pat. So, yeah, they a lot of paper they loaded this up with. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. A bacon-scented mustache. The people that didn't realize they had everything. You get them a bacon-scented mustache. Smells like bacon. I'll be the judge of that. Um, <laughs> just a, I mean... I could see why certain people would not be thrilled with such a thing. Okay, that's cool. This is a... Skywalker Solo 20, 2020 presidential t-shirt um, in a 2X size. Um, so it is actually my size. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, it's not, I, I don't know if these came, some of these stuff came from previous boxes, came from different stuff. Um, okay, we have, this might be one of the first signed items. Okay, we have sunglasses here signed sunglasses i was this is a bam horror these pair of sunglasses have been hand signed by tuesday night who played Kristen in nightmare on elm street 4 tuesday night what what a name uh clearly that that can't be an original name i'm sure that's a stage name god i hate dreaming tuesday night that's actually pretty cool um with a bam coa this is limited number 11 of 99 these were that's pretty cool. Um, so a very limited uh, thing. And, you know, I do like cool, like uh, like a cool propped item. Uh, and, you know, big Nightmare on Elm Street fan. So I can't complain about that. So I'm pretty thrilled with that pool there. Okay, there is a lot of pins here. A bunch of pins I see down here. Uh, a whole bunch of pins. More pins. Pins for days. Okay, lots of pins. Let's see what we got pin-wise here. Okay, that is a Bam Big Box, uh, did a baby, the child, baby Yoda, take your pick as to what, um, it looks like Yoda actually, but like, baby Yoda doesn't look like Yoda, I mean as much as it looks like, this is like Yoda with like the wrinkles in like the little Mandalorian baby Yoda thing, I think. Um, I think that's what it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's what it is and you can tell me different. Uh, Bam Gamer, this pin has a limited release. Uh, I got this Gamer box, actually, but I got a different pin. Um, so this is one of the limited ones. I usually don't pull the pins out to see what the numbers are. I like to keep them in plastic because I end up usually selling them off or trading them. Um, this pin has a limited release. Stranger Things Bam Expansion Pack. That's an 11 Ego pin. That's cool. Limited edition enamel pin. See, I always liked when they had the numbers on the back. You knew what was limited and what wasn't. This is Bam Big Box. I believe that's... Is that Underworld? Is that a Kate Beckinsale? That's a limited release of 250 And uh, Bam Horror. R-O-T-L-D-3. Return of the Living Dead, maybe? That could be that. Okay. All right, very cool. Um, so a lot of cool pins there. I usually put these up in the official Bambox community for things for like trade and sell. Um, so definitely going to be putting some of these items up there. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of cards here. Okay. A lot of cards here. Oh, I have more pins. I mean, they I'll, I'll get, they loaded this up with stuff. Um, Bam Horror. And this is a... I don't know what this is from looks like a werewolf type thing i i don't is it like a howling or i don't know i don't know what that's from <laughs> but let's see quite a few art cards there's still a bunch of stuff in this box i will give them credit they they did they did not um they definitely loaded up these boxes with things so kudos to them on that okay we got actually two Biffs. I actually ended up selling off or trading the Biff ones. Um, so probably we'll be doing the same for these. They don't usually collect the cards too much. Mainly with Bam, I collect the props and the, um, the autos. Uh, every once in a while, an art print is really good. I'll keep. Um, and uh, 
not usually the cards or the pins. Although maybe I should start a pin board um, for certain pins because I do like some of the pins that they give. And here's another set of shining ones that I'm going to probably have to put up as multiple sets. Okay. We have the sledgehammer from Misery. It's so funny that they actually sold this like like a re like this is like a retail thing that they actually sold as the tiniest sledgehammer. Like this is all packaging. <laughs> It's too funny that that's actually a legit thing that was um, offered, but um, I know Box Pop and Beauty uses these for like the BAM stuff and you know they pull this out in the Zelda shield and stuff, but uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a novelty thing. That's pretty funny and cool. Um, okay, so we have quite a few things in here, quite a few things. There's some art prints. Actually, hold on. There's one of the autos. And then a few art prints. A few of the repeat ones that I have already. Um, but maybe I'll put this up here. Um, it's a Beckett COA on this one. Not a BAM one. And this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually ended up trading away my Ninja Turtles one. Um, which is surprising because I actually didn't like it. Um, but for me it's just a matter of like limited amount of space. Like where can I display all of these things? I gotta either maybe find a way to display stuff properly or better. But this, is that Greg Berg? Is that Donatello maybe? Um, Donatello was always my favorite turtle on the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Um, it, Michelangelo was my younger one, as I believe he was most people's, as everyone, but Donatello, uh, if you play the Ninja Turtles arcade game, the bow has the longest reach. He's probably one of the easier characters to play with. Raphael's the hardest, because he has the shortest reach. Um, and reach does play a factor in that game. Um, but that's a cool Donatello one, if that's what that is. Uh, we have another one of, oh no, this is a limited one. I don't know what the difference is between that and the regular one, but this is the limited one. Um, 325 of 500, um, limited of the Bill and Ted. Oh, so that's cool. It's 500 limited print there. Uh, this was my favorite, um, uh, BAM art print of, uh, of all the boxes that I received. And you know what? The limited one is not as good. I actually like the regular one better. Um, but this is the dude, uh, Big Lebowski, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, 456 of 500 artist sign so a lot of 500 limited prints in fact i think these all well not they they're not all that but that's a really cool one there and here's the limited uh conjuring print 29 of 500 so a lot of limited prints they put in here um and i know from selling some of these limited prints that they actually do sell which is good um because some of those will be up for sale um okay and this one i really like this like is that an Andy Warhol-esque um, Psycho one there? 1188 out of 2000. Signed Artist Select COA on there. Uh, that's a very cool one there. Okay. Just a few things left in here. And uh, the signed Funko, which I will save for last. A lot of bigger prints here, too. Very bigger, like, two giant prints here. Um, they are art prints, uh, so they're not like any more signed items. I saw people got stuff that was like, um, some people pulled this out and pulled out, you know, signed items, um, larger items. I did see the, the best pull I seen, which is on the Bambox community, someone pulled out the Nick stall. It was actually like a gun, and they got an 11 uh, Millie Bobby Brown signed Funko Pop out of these. So I don't know if it was the, whole, the regular fire sale box or the big box, but... This is really cool here too. This is actually, oh, it's got my fa one of my favorite Stephen King movies. And I know I'm alone on this one, very alone on this one, but one of my favorite Stephen King movies in the center. Um, this is the Stephen King from the Stephen King box, limited art print. I believe is, a, is that 11 by 14 or is that bigger? It may even be bigger than that. Um, but it says all the movies, um, including like I said, one of my favorites, one of my favorite movies, I really enjoyed this movie, is Needful Things. Um, and that's cool that it's in the center there. Uh, but a lot of different, uh, a lot of different King films represented in there. 460 of 600. So 
Uh, very cool. I really dig that art print. I dig it a lot. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm thrilled with the box. I, I feel like it's got me a lot of cool, interesting things. Um, okay, here's one too. Uh, this is from BAM Edition, Avengers number four, Banner the Hulk. 244 of 250. And that is a larger print as well. The Hulk, um, BAM box. Got a little BAM hidden away in there, I see in the smoke. Very cool. Very cool larger prints there. Uh, but last but not least, I think this is the last item in the box. We have the Sign Funko. And it is the Thanos Holiday Pop um, from, I think it's like Isaac Singleton, I believe is his name. Uh, he, um, I didn't know who he was, but I've seen him in stuff like uh, Anger Management. I know he was like the air marshal on the plane. Um, but my son has the one in his room. We ended up getting the Venomized Thanos, and now we have the Holiday Thanos. Um, so all in all... A really cool box. A uh, lot of different things here. Uh, part of the, um, I'm trying to think what the thing I would say I'd like the most. Um, I like the sunglasses from Dang Funko Pops, really cool. I like these larger art prints here. Um, I love that Stephen King one. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna sell that or trade that. I haven't decided yet on that. That may be something that may be moved if the price is right. Uh, always love Ninja Turtles. Um, so that is a very cool one there. But all in all, they did, you know, kind of what they said they were going to do. They were going to do a jam-packed box, and it was certainly jam-packed. The one thing I regret that I did not get, and that I've seen a bunch of other people pull in some of these, is the Sleepaway Camp autograph. Um, my friend, when, I, when we were in high school, worked at Hollywood Video. I'm going to age myself a bit. And uh, Hollywood Video Kids is a, video, a store where you would go, it was basically like a Netflix store. And you would go there and you would acquire movies. And he would always rent the worst movies that he could possibly rent. And we would stay up all night and watch these terrible films. And at the end of a particular night, it was about 10 a.m. the following morning, we stayed up all night watching movie after movie after movie. We decided to put in Sleepaway Camp. And our high school, you know, senior year high school minds were not prepared for the ending of that film. Um, I still, I never went back and watched it again. Um, but it's it's like burned into my brain as to what this film is. So I did kind of want the Sleepaway Camp Auto and may end up trading an item for one of those if I can find it. Just because it holds a special distinction of being something that can wake you up after a 12-hour bad movie marathon, that the ending of that film will wake you up. Um, but that'll wrap it up for the BAM Triple Auto uh, jam-packed box, and it certainly was jam-packed. Uh, I feel pretty good about uh, the items I received in here. Some of these items will be up for sale or trade. Please feel free to give me a shout out. Um, on you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. We'll work something out. Um, but uh, you know, I, I really like all the things that came out of this box. You know, some goofy things like this. I, I don't even know what you do with this. Um, but, you know, beyond those goofy things, everything else is, has some substance and some value. I may end up actually giving... I know a couple people are, are fans of, of different other shows and movies. And I may, you know, give stuff to some friends. Put some up for sale. Put some up for trade. Maybe put some up in a giveaway. Haven't decided yet. Um, but guys, that'll wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, something cool like this, there's a link in the description below there, as well as links to my eBay store, new Facebook page. But that'll wrap it up for the BAM jam-packed triple auto box. Until the next year, we will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.